So my theorem today is to show that the altitudes of a triangle bisect the internal angles of its orthic triangle. Now, the orthic triangle is just a um, fancy name for triangle formed by the feet of the three altitudes. So here's, here's my triangle. It's uh, constrained its lengths. It's my usual gambit, the triangle. And we're going to put in the altitudes. Remember, there's a couple of ways of doing altitudes. Uh, one way is just to um, draw something that looks like the altitude and then constrain the right angle. But the other short circuit is to choose the point and the line and a perpendicular constraint, and it shoots a perpendicular from that point uh, to the line. So there's my uh, three altitudes. And uh, the orthic triangle is formed simply by uh, joining the three altitudes, the feet of the three altitudes. So that's my um, DEF is my orthic triangle. And what I want to show is that the altitude, uh, here's one, BE, uh, is the angle bisector there. Um, Well, here's one way to do it. We can create the angle bisector and show that it is the altitude. So here I've selected the two uh, sides and then uh, the bisection gives me the angle bisector. Um, and is it the altitude? Well, we know it goes through E because that is where, those two, where the angle uh, joins. Um, and that's the vertex of the angle. And certainly the angle bisector goes through the vertex. What's open to question is, does it really go through B? It certainly looks like it does, but we can check um, that by asking for the distance. Uh, between B and the angle bisector line. Well, it doesn't, it's, uh, we can't see its name, so we need to just, uh, select it and we see the name is L0. Um, so uh, GX Web is uh, busy working through that to see um, if it can simplify the uh, um, that distance and sure enough it does uh, to give us zero which proves the theorem.